this is sanya shake and today our topic is coordinate geometry last year we studied about the finding out the distance between two coordinate okay so first i'll give you the revision about that as we all know in the ninth standard we take this x axis as this one is p p and this one is q okay if we have to if we want to finding out the distance between this p and q what will do as we all know the right hand side has positive numbers so the positive number is always bigger than the negative number so the positive number is 6 as minus negative number is minus 5 okay 6 minus minus plus 5 Six plus five is eleven. So we we'll got this distance between P and Q is eleven. This is the easier way to finding out the distance. As we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. So we will not do every time again and again to finding out the difference for anything. this way so this is a simple way to finding out the distance hmm now that one is done as we all know in the graph paper there is a two axis first one horizontally x axis and the vertically is y axis in this axis there is a four quadrant we have okay first quadrant this one is second quadrant this one is third quadrant and last one is fourth quadrant as we all know in this in the x axis there is a positive side so this one is positive and the y axis is also positive so in the first quadrant there is a plus plus means positive positive similarly in the second quadrant on the x axis there is a negative numbers and on the y axis there is a positive number okay similarly in the third x third quadrant also on the x axis there is a negative number and on the y axis also there is a negative number and the similarly last one is also on the x axis there is a positive number but on the y axis there is a negative number so why we take this plus 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 minus for why we use this sign so we use for this as a x and the y okay so let's take in this coordinate geometry as we studied in the 10th standard there is a three formulas we have first is distance formula second one is section formula and the third one is slope of for this distance formula in this also we have to study we have to finding out the distance between the two coordinate but for this we have the formula what is the formula if we want, uh, want to finding out the distance between a and b formula should be x2 minus x1 the whole square minus y2 minus y1 the whole square here we write for your convenience we writing here the distance formula x2 Minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. Okay, so first one in the practice set five point one is a two three and the b four one. 
Now here we have to finding out the distance between A and B. So first for your convenience, for your knowledge, we take this as x1, y1 and in this B, x2 and y2. Okay. The distance of AB, the formula here, writing here x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square okay this formula you have to write every time <laughs> formula likhne par aap logo ko one marks milte hain in the board exam also okay so what is x2 me x2 here x2 here x2 is 4 and minus x1 is 2 the whole square plus y2 is 1 and the y1 is minus 3 okay 4 minus 2 is 2 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 is also 2 but the sign of a bigger number is minus. So here minus we have to okay. The square of 2 is 2 to the 4. The whole square of minus 2 is also 4. So root 4 plus 4 is 8. Now 8. 4 to the 8. 4 to the 8. There should be 4 to the 8. So we will do 4 multiply by root 2. Like this only. 4 kis ka square root hai? So distance of AB is equal. 4 kis ka root hai is 2. Or ye root 2. How should we write this distance? between A and B is equals to root 2. Okay. 